Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that's Minecraft Steve with a sword and a pickaxe. I got an idea on how to create them, so let's get cracking. Alright friends, so if you remember right, these are created by my student Jack, so that makes it so much easier for us. Friends, let's start with a blank design and put it together. Alright friends, so once again, we need to start with a box. When you bring it out, I'm going to have it at this angle. Hold down shift, stretch it or shrink it. I don't care which you pick. Type size 5 so that we've got a size 5 cube. We're going to switch to a 5mm nudge, and I want you to fit view so we can get in and zoom in on that. Let's put it on a corner and then this is the part that makes this work. We need to rotate it 45 degrees. So notice I clicked the little arrow and then I can type in the box, put your 45 and press enter. This is the secret shape that then makes this project so simple. It also really helps that Jack gave us the template. So I'm going to move this off to this corner right here and I'm going to show those other two parts. Let's build the sword first. Notice I've got it at about the same line. So notice, friends, that this is a 3x3 three three cube, right? So we need to put our work plane on this shape. And now when you do Control D, if we do Control Down, that piece is right here. If you do Control D again, you've just made this whole side. I'm going to grab all three of these now, and if I do Control D again, and I nudge this way, check it out, we just made this row, Control D again, we made the next row. Just like that, we've built the point of our shape. Alright friends, to make the next row, we are going to shift click, one, two, three, four, five. Change it to a one millimeter nudge, and then do Control D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven clicks, and boom, it's lined up. So we've got our pattern started. Let's paint it the right colors. I'm going to grab those three real quick, and I'm going to make them this blue. I'm going to grab these two, make them the same blue. I'm going to fix these on the inside. They need to be that light blue. And this will be even faster if I'm smart and I shift click. So there, I've just got the ones that I want in the middle. We'll get those blue. Then I need to get these four. One, and I'm going to zoom in so I can see a little better. Two, three, four. I've only got three shapes. I missed this one right here. And let's make it the blue. Let's make these the outside green. Pop and pop. And we can automate this now, friends. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Control D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control D, 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 D. And we just made it to this part of the sword that quickly. I'm going to change my arrangement just a little really quick. Let's pull this over here so we got more room to play. Then I'm going to select all of these pieces. Notice that red box does not touch this one over here, so that worked out perfect. And I'm going to just nudge this over so that I've got room for the rest of this. So if we look really quickly, there are two more of these shapes we just did. So I'm going to select this again. Once again, I'll zoom in so it's easier to see. One, two, three, four, five. And I missed the fifth one. Let's grab that again. Control D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and control D. Alrighty friends, let's wrap this up like this. Let's hold down shift and select all five of these. And we'll just go all the way to the back. And then we'll delete a few pieces. So I'm gonna do the control D. Remember my one millimeter nudge and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that gets us this row. So I'm just gonna do control D. D, D, and now I'm back to the end of this point. Now I can come back here and delete these two pieces. And you can see I just created this end. And then I'm going to delete this one and this one. And there's the first brown handle piece. And then we're going to delete this one and this one. And that's the second 
brown handle piece. So just like that, we've got the sword made. I'll turn and let you see exact same spot so you can tell that we've got it lined up. Now we just need to add these end pieces going across here and get our colors right. I'm going to try and speed up the colors with shift click. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And those are all supposed to be the dark green. You can see I misclicked two of those. You can make this a little easier by zooming in so there are larger areas to click. So there when I shift click, now I easily got those. And then this, this one's actually supposed to be brown. These I can grab a large area. And then I'll shift click to unselect the ones I don't want. And there's my brown. Need to grab these two, shift click, and make them brown. And I went too far. But that's all right. I'll get those back the way they're supposed to be. These are supposed to be the green. So let's shift click these. And then this one is supposed to be the light blue. All right, friends, let's go from this brown one. And we are just going to select four of these. So there's one, two, three. Make sure you get the third one. See how it still says two. So now I've got three and I've got four. With those four selected, we're going to do Control D, and we're going to nudge out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because that's how it fits with these. And then we can do Control D two more times. Now, this gave us more pieces than we need, but it's pretty easy to fix it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on these blue ones right here. So you can see I've got the middle one. So I need to go here, here, and here on the corner. That's this set of blue. Let's click on the blue and set that up. So now that matches. That also lets me see that this one is not needed. You can look over here, it's not there. And then also these were extra. So I can delete these ends. So just like that, we've got this side created. Our colors are good. And we can move on to the other side. Real quickly, I'm going to grab this sword and move it over just a little bit so we don't run into it. Let's zoom back in, and once again, we're going to do one, two, three, and four. Control D, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control D, Control D. And I think that's going to be enough. Let's get our colors right. Once again, it'll be light blue, light blue, and light blue. And then we can delete the one right above the light blue. And then we need to make this into a end piece. And friends, just like that, you have got a Minecraft sword. How sweet is that? I'm going to real quickly arrange both of these over here. And then we can start building our Minecraft pickaxe. This one's kind of cool when you grab it. Notice I'm stopping at this row right here. So now if I hold down shift and just go to before that one. I've got it all selected and I can move them over here side by side. So we've got more room to play with our pickaxe. If you're looking closely, the pickaxe has this size four piece down here. Let's do control D, bring this over into place. And then let's zoom in and do some deleting. So first I'm gonna delete all of the green and you can see right there is the first part of our Minecraft pickaxe. Put the tan in the middle. This one looks a little bit better. Once again, let's select the three on the end here. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see that a little better. One, two, three. You can double check to make sure you've got it right. Control D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lines up just spiffy and we can do Control D again and again and again to get all the way up to the top. I'm going to take this set of stuff and I'm going to line it up so that it's at the same spot as this bottom. So I'm just bringing it back. That makes it easier to spot. So I'm just eyeballing this brown piece matches that brown piece. And then I'm going to move over so we have room to keep building. Alrighty, friends, let's double check our colors. You see it goes light brown, dark brown. So I'm going to select two of those real quick and make them dark brown. 
I'm going to do them little bits at a time so it makes it a little easier to spot. Then it would be this one, and then the next one actually doesn't turn brown. So you see there we've got one, two, three of the brown ones, and then the next one is light blue. So this one has to be light blue. And when you start getting these colors in place, then it'll make sense what part we're building. These right here need to be light blue. I am going to do the shift click to make that faster. The one above it needs to be dark brown. And then there needs to be one more dark brown. So that's this piece right here. These two we can delete. And then these two, let's hold down shift and click and make them the light color. So now we've got all the way to the top and we just have to build our side parts. Alrighty friends, this is kind of tricky but also kind of cool. Let's zoom in pretty close. I'm going to hold down shift and right click drag so I can see these really well. I'm going to grab one, two, three. Make sure you keep track that you get them all. Four, five, and I missed this one. So now I've got five, six, and seven. So I'm always counting up here. And then when we do control D, we're gonna nudge over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna do control D, one, two, three. And I'm gonna do a fourth just in case. So what we've done is made all these bricks out here and now we can start getting rid of them. So notice there are three bricks up here that we keep. So we delete that one. And then we need to delete all of these out here. So we're making this go down, and it's one, two, three, four, five. So there's one, two, three, four, and there's five. To help make this more clear to you, let's quickly make these all the dark green. So I've selected three, four, and five. So we have just created this side right here. All of these can be deleted, but we're actually going to use this little one right here. So trust me on this. We're going to grab all those. Delete that, delete that. Let's go back up here and turn this one green. And let's also turn this side over here dark green. So let's shift click. One, two, three. Make them the dark green they're supposed to be. And then these inside here, let's hold down shift and click. They're all supposed to be the light green. And then let's rotate in so we've got this angle. And we're going to do the four trick again, where we're doing shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. So we've got our four shapes. Control D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can delete the ones we don't need. And boom, you have just made the other side of your pickaxe. Let's get our colors right, which is simply adding that one, and bam. Now we simply need to do it on the other side. I've got a fancy dancy way to make that happen. Make sure you're looking at this straight, and we're going to select right to these corners. This is so cool because we can touch all of this shape without touching any of our center handle. Friends, when you do Control D, use your arrow key to nudge it across, and then use the mirror tool to flip it, and then you can simply nudge it into place and bam, you have got an awesome pickaxe and your awesome diamond sword. Once again, friends, I wanna make sure all credit goes to Jack for creating these cool things. They are so awesome and I'm totally enjoying all the cool things he makes. Friends, if you ever wanna share with me, don't forget, all you gotta do is reach up and hit the collaborate button. When you generate a link, you can copy the link and you can send it to me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can always find me at HLModTech. Of course, you can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those are not available to you, don't forget you can visit hlmodtech.com. We've got the epic Tinkercad page, and down here, we've got the awesome instant messaging. You can reach out to me almost instantly. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.